Hey everyone, welcome back to Of Ash and Dust once again. Uh, in today's episode we're going to be continuing with the game, as always. In fact, I think what we're going to be doing is... We are going to be finishing off New Londo. Here's my kind of line of thinking. I have most of the stuff unlocked in New Londo already. Uh, so we don't need to do much here in terms of like going to places and everything. Oh yeah, I did look up wh what I can trade with Snuggly the Crow for... In fact, never mind. I just realized I'm stupid. We're gonna do that first. We're gonna try to get as many uh, Demon Titanites as we possibly can. We're gonna need to go to Lost Isolith anyways. Like, that's gonna be unavoidable. I'm not going to be able to get a plus 5 before Lost Isolith. So, that's a thing. However, I can knock this out of the park. The park. Right here. If, and I mean, that's a big if, the trades are, the still, are still the same thing. And I managed to go the wrong way. There's definitely a couple of things I need to check out. Um, the advanced pyromancy trainer, so Quailana, should be available now. Because one of the conditions is to have a plus 5 pyromancy glove. Which I can also... Whoops, I almost forgot. Shit! Well, this is off to a wonderful start. I actually remembered, remembered to check my timer. So yeah, this is off to wonderful to start. As you can see, it's daytime again. However, I'm recording this the next day. I don't knock out like six episodes in a row. Uh, I usually record over a couple of days. So yeah, but we're still off. Today is Monday, but bank holiday. So, that's very good. Always nice to get an extra. They should really go ahead with a 4D work, work week. Listen. I would hella take a 4D work week. Um, and I'm hella about to die. Okay, these guys are... One thing I forget is these guys are always a threat, and you can't ever fuck around. So yeah, I think what what was it? I think Spain is about to trial. Uh, four day work week. I am so down with that. Listen, bring that shit over here, but I I don't think I don't think that's ever gonna happen. We're like too fucked. Uh. Um, okay, I was almost sure that was supposed to be a, de a demon titanite. Hold on. No, it's, no, it's, it's not a chunk. I mean, it's not, not, not a chunk. It's not rubbish. It's a uh, dung pie that you have to trade. So I got shit and junk confused. Which is, I guess, my bad. This is what you need to drop. I give you shit, you give me Demon Titanite. Sorry for all the quitting and reloading. Luckily, PC. You know, this is the one big advantage of playing on PC. This load time. What? What? Um, am I stoned? Have more shit. Please tell me the fucking trades are not changed. It doesn't look like it. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, Google this shit. Hold on. 
I'm very I'm being very professional here, I know. Snugly trades. Maybe I completely brain farted here and I'm completely incorrect. We have Demon Tight Knight, Prism Stone and Dunk Pie. Where's my Prism Stone? I mean, where's my Demon Tight Knight? Oh shit, they changed it, didn't they? Or something. I am not a happy camper right about now. Um, still shouldn't be an issue. Because we have the demon that I haven't killed yet. And we also have the one in Lost Isolith, which drops two. So it shouldn't be an issue, but that is a little bit strange, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the four day work week. Um, I can hella see that like being a very futuristic idea and I think something that should be like adapted because when you think about it a lot of time at work is spent um, really doing sometimes useless feeling things just to fill out the workday I mean don't tell me that some people need to sit in front of Zoom or Teams or whatever um, for, I don't know, six and a half hours of their eight-hour workday having pointless calls, you know. That's like the epitome of unproductive. Uh, and whereas I think like a four-day work week would force people to really like concentrate on what's important, you know instead of being like well here I'm here for like four more days eight hours per day I need to I need to fill out the day with activities which I think is the reason for a lot of these like pointless meetings and everything but that's just the game theory you know but again I think the issue is that we're just like too um capitalistic uh, to really ever truly adapt for day work week but hey you never know I think I'm gonna get rid of my yeah we'll see what happens here the abysso oh shit Seriously? Okay, when are they going to join? What's the R2 on this? Oh, it's this big useless swing. I remember. Shit. I, that's uh, that attack is unbelievable. Cool. Okay, I need to watch my Estus. Okay, the last two attack at the same time. Do they? Or is he just spectating? I think he's just spectating. Got it. Oh, fuck.
Power within got me killed. I mean, the idea was good. That's not difficult. Okay, I was worried when all four of them spawned, but they they attack just one after another. It's just you know, I could go for the age-old heavy armor trick. I mean, I have some decent armor, like black iron, but hmm. I know mean, it wasn't difficult, it's just power within. Because that's always the risk with power within. And I don't think my damage would be that much reduced. Did you just say I just yeeted the corpse through the wall? Yeah, I don't know if my damage would be uh, that badly affected if I didn't have it. So I'm going to try it without it. Probably the biggest thing that sucks, and maybe I'm just blind, um, sucks in this mod, is that Firekeeper souls are just like not available. And again, it could be that I missed a bunch, but the fact that we're this late in the game, okay, Dark Souls 2, the fact that we're this late into the game and I have an Estus plus one is really starting to like not be a good thing. That was a perfect example, that fight there, because I almost always had to uh, double chug. But again, as I've said a couple of times, there... Oh, fuck. Oh no, wait, not fuck. Because there is a bonfire here. Does that actually help? Is this bonfire closer to... I think yes, actually. Fuck off out of here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is a little bit closer. It's weird. I, I like so automatically default to the upstairs bonfire. But Yeah, this is this is way closer. If you consider if you factor in like the elevator ride and uh here you don't have to take fall damage from shit. Oh, okay. You have to take fall damage from these fuckers, <laughs> which is not fall damage, which is you're just like getting beat up. All right, fuck off, ghosts. I think this is a perfect time to use a divine blessing if we have one or an Elizabeth mushroom. Now, nah, divine blessing. I should have Elizabeth mushroom actually. In fact, you know, since I have six of them, because this like makes you practically invincible. I'll keep them around Maybe for the last one. God, I hate this attack. Does that ever dissipate? Okay, so I was doing like 420 damage and now I'm doing 339. That is actually um, fairly significant. But still, still this is not... It's absolutely no wonder that people almost always uh, choose this boss fight because this fight fucking sucks.
All right, mush. I wonder how long that thing stays around. I don't think he can... You know, he does some damage with this, but... Yeah. Seriously, you're gonna cheat? God, Elizabeth mushrooms are ridiculously strong. They are insano. Couple of more hits should do it. In fact, he's dead. They're dead. Eh. I mean... I agree that this is a better method than the um, the timer mechanic that the vanilla fight has but it's difficult to make it's genuinely difficult to uh, I think extract anything significant out of this boss fight cuz I don't know it's the arena like their moveset is actually I think fairly interesting uh, their moveset is not the issue. Yeah, I don't even have a thousand HP. It's kind of ridiculous. I genuinely think their moveset is not the issue. The issue here is the... It's the arena. Like, having a pitch black fighting arena means that it's impossible to dodge their attacks. Um... But yeah, that, that was okay. I think Daughters of Ash did the same thing, right? That all four of them spawned, but they attacked you one by one. If I remember correctly, that was the deal with DOA as well. Now, one thing I do know, and this is a little secret that's, that's been whispered to me. I do know that there is actually a way to get their weapon in this version of the game. Which was, I think, supposed to be in the game originally but was cut so that's probably the reason why it can be put in because like a model and everything exists for it and I think it's a straight sword if I remember correctly so the reason I'm coming here is first of all I'm gonna try to kill that last demon tide knight Titanite Demon. Other way around. The second thing is I want to check out the Pyromancer. It's kind of, this is where we have to go anyways. And I th think if I remember correctly this should be the one that takes us to... this is to the depths. Fuck, which one? I If I remember correctly, I had one that took us to... Blight Town, no? That reminds me. Yeah. How am I doing on Demon Tight Knight? I only have the one. Cool. Okay, let's check out this enemy here. Might as well knock this out of the park. And then we can go down. Because I'm, I'm going to do Lost Isolith. Because we need it for the weapon. We need it for everything. But as you saw. Um, even with a plus 3. I am dealing more than enough damage. Which is kind of what I was hoping for. Only issue with this weapon. I 
has always been the R2s. First of all, they are nearly impossible to hit with. Down you go. Hey, that actually killed it. That rarely happens. Yeah, the R2s are the big issue with this uh, weapon. One being they're impossible to hit with. Two being they are mad slow. That's why it's good that the Abyss Greatsword exists. Because at least that one has a decent R2 attack. So this guy is pretty strong. There is no two ways about it. In fact, I think this one is as strong as the one in... Oh no, maybe actually not. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. What a hitbox. What the... God damn it. Dark Souls 2. I'm getting them vibes. Listen, I've played enough Dark Souls 2 to know how this works. Yep. Nearly had him too. Well, that was a waste of uh, humanity. It's all good. The walk back of shame is... Never a good thing. I should have just popped an Elizabeth mushroom. Like, Elizabeth mushrooms are gonna be my shit. People, again, people always say anyways that I don't use, like, the items in the game. I think I have a taste for the mush now. It's like fear and loathing, you know. Actually, do they take... They don't take mushrooms in that movie, do they? They take just LSD. It's a fun little movie. I wonder if this guy is going to follow. Of course he is. Six, seven, eight. I, I am almost 100% certain that they buffed this weapon. Like, I don't remember ever dealing this much damage with the great sword of Artorias. I specifically remember dropping it uh, when I was doing the Knight's Honor challenge run because I was like the shit ain't dealing enough damage. Now sometimes these guys are just kind of easy. Oh, nice. They gave you this weapon. I used this weapon on one of my playthroughs. In fact, you know, I think I might have used it on my very first playthrough for a little bit. Um, I remember getting this thing, dropping, having this thing drop and like the few people who were watching me were like freaking out because of this thing's rarity uh, and I was very I was an excited boy back then and I ain't talking sexually but just tight night catch pole -y. so I used it for a while yeah I think we're gonna go down to Blight Town where I'm probably gonna find out the gravestone leads to somewhere really obvious and I'm gonna be pissed Oh, hello there, item. Oh no. 
motherfucking Petrus. She did come up here. Fuck. You know what? We need to make a stop. I completely forgot. I mean, we got seven humanities out of it, but... It's kind of a shame. You know what? I'm gonna... Specifically fuck you up. You killed her. You killed her. I'm gonna punch you, which you don't seem to really care about. You know what? Yeah, heal yourself up. Heal yourself up. Come at me, bruh. That weak shit. Ooh. Oh yeah, it did. Gonna end exactly like this. Fucking murderer. I wanted to parry him like that. This is not the way. That felt satisfying. Little bitch. I mean, anybody who has a haircut like that, you know, you should be careful of. Unless it's Oliver Tree, you know. Although even you should be probably careful of Oliver Tree as well. We're gonna go down and then that should be like a nice maybe Beatrice is set. Oh yeah, I haven't even gone through here. Maybe I should check out what's over here. Probably the usual shit. Oh <laughs> a little torch hollow. Hey, you're out of your little area. Go through this Instagram field. Oh yeah, I remember this. The, sh the smell of shit is so bad that you start losing HP in this place. We all have been there. Nice berry boy. I like specifically remember there being a gravestone here. <laughs> Just and you know, this is one thing the wiki does have. The wiki for this mod. It does have a chart showing what connects to what, but as I'm very clearly demonstrating here, I've not bothered to memorize it. Oh, hey, is that a treasure chest? I'm going to say I was hesitant for a second. Are you fucking kidding me? Hmm, how am I doing on time? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna torture you guys through this place. <laughs> I'm not gonna... That would be cruel. That would be cruel to put you through having to suffer through this run back. Uh, it's something I'll have to endure on my own. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications and see you next time in Blighttown. Take care and peace out. Goodbye.